you know that last year we started, uh, uh, or one and a half year ago we came up with our RBS 6000 family, and uh, which now basically is all the shipments are doing, the quickest product in the back generation ever. Uh, now we come out with the, the, the micro networks on the, on the 6000. This is a Pico cell. Inside here you can see 3G, 4G and Wi-Fi embedded. And of course this can be inside a stadium or inside a building like this or an indoor coverage for a company. So what we now see is of course a very important that we come with the, the whole st story about the micro networks with Pico cell like this one. Inside here, I said it's Wi-Fi, and many of you know that uh, we have the intention to acquire Bel Air, uh, a Wi-Fi company that we announced a week ago, or a little bit more maybe. And of course, here we have the chance to make a seamless feeling for the consumer between 3G, 4G, and Wi-Fi by having that embedded. And we're going to be unique on that, because we are the only one having that possibility to do the cons consumer experience. So again, we're coming with this is one, you can see many of them here, but this is one, this is a Pico cell. And uh, of course, this is part of our HetNet strategy, the heterogeneous networks. Heterogeneous networks is a way, of course, to handle dense areas with a, with a micro layer and not the micro layer of the, uh, of the mobile networks. In the HetNet, we can actually optimize the spectrum by uh, or increase the spectrum efficiency with 100% and the throughput with 200% using the HetNet story together with the macro. And the total cost of ownership, if you build it on our business, is basically a 50% reduction. So now we're moving to the next step on the mobile road and bringing it to dense urban areas where we actually use PITCOS and smaller cells that is connected uh, to the larger macro networks. And that's very important. At the same time, our service division is working a lot with smartphones, of course, and what's happening mobile broadband. Today, 50% of all smartphone traffic in the world is going through areas of networks. Our service division has taken all that information that we're getting from the networks and working what we call with a smartphone network optimization service which is based on real-time data, how you optimize the network in every moment of the network. So here you see the combination of technology leadership and service leadership, how we can support operators. If we then go to broadband, and uh, maybe starting with this little small thing, which might look like a handball, but it's not. Uh, this is uh, a prototype of a mini-link, uh, a gigabit mini-link that's very much needed when you need to transport the data uh, very quickly and in an efficient way. Uh, the prototype has also another important thing, that is it's a design. Nowadays we can design uh, this type of product so it fits into an in indoor solution in an office environment or whatever. And so this is just a prototype and it could be in any other shape that fits in, but uh, here we fit in a gigabit mineral into this to transport data. And you're going to see them up here, uh, but I think it's important. We go into a phase with HetNet where we need to have very nice design on the products uh, in order to fit into a very uh, dense area of uh, office or another type of environment. Uh, so now I move on, if this stays there. You know what this is? Ah, I didn't think so. I know. This is an uh, 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 evolved packet gateway. Last year, we launched our SSR. This is sitting inside the SSR, having a tremendous capacity for data traffic. Basically, this card is uh, taking 4 million subscribers that simultaneously browse the internet using tablets and phones. So almost you can have this and you can cover entire Sweden with one card. If you put all cards in a rack, you're going to cover 30 million subscribers. This is uh, have the highest capacity in the industry, and it's our team in Silicon Valley in the networks uh, business unit that has developed that, and we're extremely proud of what they've come up with. But it's not only that, it's also extremely, extremely power efficient. This one is using equally much power as a micro -ombre. Not more. But again, it's part of the data traffic, part of the mobile broadband, we have an end-to-end -end solution, including this as well. Wow. 
So that was some of them. And the first customer that we announced on that one is Telescom. They are the first customer going into uh, the evolved uh, uh, gateway. Uh, another thing that we're showing up here is live broadcast on LT. And last week we announced again with Qualcomm that we have done the first test on that. That, of course, is a way to use the TV experience going into LT and 4G. And with the capacity we're having in 4G and the optimization you can do with the uh, broadcasting over LT, it's going to be very efficient to actually broadcast TV on their 4G networks. And it's already devices out there. And you can see that up there as well. Last area, clouds. Last year I talked a lot about our announcement in the cloud. And of course, one of what we talked about earlier uh, was, of course, important. But in the cloud area, we have uh, uh, come up with a strategy that is called the Network Enabled Cloud. Basically how we can work with operators from building, setting up networks, designing networks, and how we support operators with a cloud strategy. Today we will launch a couple of things here. I think the, one of the things that services are uh, launching here is the data center build and data center optimization uh, service. That is really how we can optimize, build, and manage data center for customers with a vast experience and 12,000 employees in consulting and system integration together with our technology, we can definitely support our operators when it comes to cloud. Last year I talked about a couple of services. I talked TC as a service, I talked about machine to machine in the cloud, and I talked about Akamai. TC as a service and machine to machine is now commercial out and rolling out. You can see machine to machine up here. We acquired Telenor Connection last year part of the offering right now to bring in the machine to machine to this industry. When it comes to Akamai, we talked about the mobile cloud accelerator last year. That was a way to actually gain traction in the mobility to get higher speeds uh, when it comes to data and content. This slide is showing a live network in Indonesia with Telkom Cell, the largest operator in Indonesia. The difference when you use the mobile cloud accelerator and not. And it's a difference of 70% improvement when it comes to time of page loading in the network. Meaning it's 70% quicker to load pages using the mobile cloud accelerator. How you bring the data down, how you cache it, and how you deliver it. Imagine how important that will be with real-time information, if you want to take decisions, or doing commerce, or whatever it is. The first customer here that we're using is Thomson Reuters, that is part of, of this tribe. This we're now launching and going commercially with, but it's definitely a way for our customers, operators, reduce the cost and gaining revenues on content that, that they really want to be accelerated to the network. So it, we're proving it works and it's a huge impact on the network. So those are the three factors that we sort of building our decision around and have made investment around 2011 and going forward. If we then talk about the trends in the industry, this slide I talked about last year, what are the trends? And if we use transit into 2012, there are not many changes because these trends prevail, but they look a little bit different. And uh, here you can see the market trend 2012. Again, a lot about mass market adoption of smartphones. Last year, 30% of all new phones were smartphones. 2010, it was 20%. Let's see what's going to be in 2012. But definitely, that's going to happen. That are life changes with mobility and cloud, I think it's obvious. We can have numerous examples. And I guess if you go around here, you're going to see that all around. Not only that, innovation, collaboration, and change of business models is clear when it comes to this world right now. I think our partnership with Western Union, how we can enable them commerce, it's a new way how you use it. If you go up there, you're going to see connected cars, you're going to see how utilities use the networks. All in all, the technology is a base, but a lot of innovation on top of it. Given that, we're going to see focus on growth and efficiency from our customers, very much focus on OSS, PSS, in order to do a consumer experience. And I think we have a unique position with our with our portfolio and acquisition of Telcordia there. 
as well as on our service portfolio. And finally, if it wasn't important before, it's going to be even more important now at least, and that's the high performance on the mobile broadband network, because that's going to be business critical for us as people, for the entire businesses, but also with our society. That leads me to the end. Just summing up a little bit what I talked about, I think I've tried to explain that it's fundamental remains in industry and the change is probably quicker than what we have seen before. And if you go around, not only in Hall 6, but in the whole event here, it's a lot happening. Our performance last year was a little bit mixed. Strong growth, uh, of course, but a little bit lower margin by year end. But that was based on also investment in market share and R&D. We have today on mobile infrastructure 38% market share now and gained some 6% last year, which is quite a big market share gain. The trends are accelerating as I speak. For Ericsson, what is important is stay on the strategy, which we're doing. We want to be number one on mobile broadband, and we are number one. But so twice the size of number two in the industry of mobile infrastructure. We want to be number one on managed services and services, and we're by far number one in services. And we're aspiring to be number one on OSS, BSS, which with acquisition of Telecordia, we're definitely up to the top. <laughs>